i so now let us have a look at what is the completing square method of solving quadratic equation let us take a simple example x square plus 4x minus 5 equal to 0 the first thing we have to observe in the completing square method is that the coefficient of x square should be equal to 1 if it is not equal to 1 we have to divide the whole equation by that coefficient in this example the coefficient is already 1 so we can proceed to the next step the next step we have to take the constant coefficient that is minus 5 on the right hand side so that will become plus 5 once you have done that now the next step is to find the third term now the third term is found out by a simple formula that is half of the coefficient of x the whole square the coefficient of x here is 4 so half into 4 the whole square the half of 4 is 2 so i'll get 2 square which is 4 now once you have found the third term we have to add this third term on both the sides of the equations so the equation becomes x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 4. So I have added 4 to both the sides of the equation. Now if you look carefully to the left hand side of this equation, the first three terms x square plus 4x plus 4 is a whole square of some bracket. Now how do you find that? What we do is we take the square root of x square which is x then we take the sign adjacent to it that is plus and then we take the square root of the last term that is 4 square root of 4 is 2 so the left hand side actually becomes x plus 2 the whole square whereas the right hand side is 5 plus 4 which is 9 now you know that 9 is the square of a number that is 3 so 9 can be written as 3 square now we have, can see there is square on both the sides of the equation. So what I can do is I can take square root. So taking square root on both the sides, the square will get cancelled. I will be left with x plus 2 is equal to plus minus 3. Always remember, when you take square root, you need to mention the plus and minus sign as well. Now once you have done that, now we will calculate x using the positive sign first. So x plus 2 is equal to 3 taking 2 on the right hand side I'll get x is equal to 3 minus 2 that is x equal to 1 so I got one of the solution for the second solution I had to take the second sign of the right hand side that is minus 3 so x plus 2 is equal to minus 3 taking 2 on the right hand side I'll get x is equal to minus 3 minus 2 which is minus 5 so this is how you solve a quadratic equation using completing square method.